Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh We from Group 5 will present about our project Our project is about heating, ventilation and air conditioning This is our team for this project First, I will introduce myself My name is Omar Ahmad bin Sulaiman Next, we have Nurul Putri Zulaika bin Tim Muhammad Zulkifli Next, Muhammad Afiq Akmal bin Abdul Rahman And lastly, we have Raja Lishmi Kumaru First, I will talk about the project background For the project background, we propose an efficient HVAC system for the office lobby that involve optimizing egg distribution, evaluating HVAC leak potential, and selecting system based on energy efficiency. Integrating of structural framework data in construction for the office lobby, we prioritize energy efficiency and indoor air quality using simulation platform and IoT based service. Based on the data given, we implement zero investment hashtag strategy, design energy efficient air distribution, and tailor system selection to lobby requirement. This comprehensive approach ensures an efficient and comfortable office lobby environment. Next, for the objective of the project, we would like to develop an energy efficient hashtag system for the office lobby. Optimizing design and load calculation while considering building criteria. We also employ advanced technology like simulation platform and IoT service to model energy consumption, measuring optimal performance and occupant comfort. For the hashtag design process, the hashtag design process is multifaceted, involving real time airflow measurement. Sheet exchanger simulation, BIM based optimization, integration with building envelope for sustainability, energy efficiency for system selection, noise control and information exchange mapping, mapping for retrofit project. Key consideration is including evaluating outdoor airflow, simulating borehole heat exchanger, and optimizing air distribution layout in panelized house. Decision made during design effect system design, installation operation and control, discrete event simulation, noise level attention and control using the prediction, the predicted mean vote index contribute to a formal driven design. The selection of the appropriate HPEC system is crucial for energy efficiency need. Detailed load calculation using CLPD, CLF, and SCL method. This calculation includes some part which is roof, walls, glass solar, infiltration, people, light and less is appliances. For the total grand total heat gain in watt is 25,415 watt and from go to BTU is 86,665.31 BTU per hour. For this part, from the table previous calculation using method of CLTD, CLF and SEL, it should be compared with calculation by using rule of thumb. For the result, the difference is 4919.59 CFM with percentage is 5.39%. So it means the method using CLTD, CLF and SEL method is approved because the result value is not far from the value rule of thumb. Selection of air conditioner. The air conditioning system used in this project is a duct air conditioning system. This type allow all air duct to remain within the condition space and specify that the joint are seams of all ducts, including written duct, are sealed with a suitable material. A duct system is an air management concept that use a series of metal or plastic pipe to transport heat or cool air from one location to another. A duct system is often referred to as a pipeline. There are two categories of duct, active and passive. Duct are naturally passive because they have no moving parts. Advantages using ducting. First one is low cost, less noise, easy installation, energy efficiency, 
indoor air quality, and last is increased comfort. Diffuser. The diffuser design that was used in this project is a 4-way square diffuser. An air distribution tool called a 4-way diffuser may distribute air in 4 separate directions, offering effective and uniform air distribution in a variety of settings. The size of diffuser that used in this project is 450mm x 450mm, which has a true distance of 3.5m. The reason used for waste diffuser is because it provides better air distribution and flow management since they are simple to adjust to the activities in the air office lobby. It also ensures that residents or occupants live in a cozy and quiet environment. These diffusers' functions are determined by their design, which can also improve the room's overall appearance by blending in with the existing finishing of the building and decoration. Ducting Ducting refers to the networks of ducts or conduits that HVAC system employ to supply and remove air. To maintain appropriate interior air quality and thermal comfort, conditional air is distributed uniformly throughout a structure by the use of ducts. Supply, return and exhaust air ducts are the parts of the duct system that transport air in and out as needed. Usually ducting constructed of sheet metal, ductwork is intended to maximize energy efficiency and airflow. The ducting design that was used in this project is rectangular ducting. For the best possible indoor air quality, lower energy costs and longer equipment life, probably constructed and maintained ducting is crucial. HVAC system employ a form of air duct called rectangular ducting which has a rectangular shape. Rectangular ducting is inexpensive and safe since it is simple to extrude particularly when made of plastic. Rectangular ducts are readily transportable where whether disassembled or nested and they may be tailored to any height limits in the area. Based on 2880 CFM, by using the ductilator, it will get velocity 1250 FPM and sizing for rectangular duct is 10 inches height and 40 inches width. For the better proposed duct, air conditioner is increased the value of CFM to avoid potential loss from any area of ducting. From 2880 CFM, it can be increased into 3050 CFM with velocity is 1250 FPM and size rectangular ducting is 12 inches height and 42 inches width. And this is our proposed design of ducting in office lobby. This ducting design consists of 10 branches. For the operation and maintenance, HVAC system must become acquainted with the adjustment mechanism of the diffuser, employ dampers to regulate airflow and balance the system to ensure uniform distribution. To ensure efficiency, it is also critical to coordinate thermostat setting and replace air filter regularly. This meticulous attention to detail aids in the prevention of air leaks affect the hatchback system overall performance. For discussion, the information presented emphasizes how crucial the four-way square diffuser is to control the estimate heat gain and guarantee an effective thermal comfort in the room. A filter frequently included in ducting system are essential in improving indoor air quality because they collect and eliminate dust elegance and other pollution from the air circulate in addition to enhancing the health and happiness of building inhabitants. Better air quality also guarantees a cleaner hatchback system which lowers the possibility of equipment deterioration. The diffuser plays a crucial role in attaining both comfort and energy efficiency in the hatchback system because it is ability to manage a substantial airflow that correspond with the requirement of the heat gain circulation. Lastly, for the conclusion, 
The proposal hashtag project for the office lobby prioritize energy efficiency, occupant comfort and indoor air quality through advanced technology like simulation platform and IoT service it optimize energy consumption aligned with smart building principle. We propose the design of a dark air conditioning system with a four-way square diffuser and streamlined rectangular ducting. The design ensure efficient air distribution. The comprehensive hashtag process include load balancing, airflow calculation, real-time measurement and noise control. Operation and maintenance guidelines are included include for system durability, highlighting a balance between energy efficiency and indoor air quality. The project offers a tailored, sustainable and healthy indoor environment for the office lobby. That's all from our project. Thank you.